that we can begin. Simple. The aim of the business was is to make a, we wanted to make an extra two hundred dollar to supplement my salary as a civil engineer, because when we came in, Betty could not get a job, and uh, the other challenge we had in our family is our second born son has got sickle cell, and that requires one full time parent parental attention. So Betty chose to become a full time mother, and that required me to either increase my salary or have a better job, which was a challenge. So when we came across this business, we decided, okay, let's start this business. We don't know if it will work or not. Even if you're earning $200 a month, $300 a month, it is worth the effort. But after doing the business part-time for seven months, our income reached $1,000. That's when I really paid attention to the business. So Betty and I worked very hard. After three years, the income from the business was three times my salary and I fired my boss. I left my employment in 1999 on 27th of September. So if you're a guest, pay attention. Maybe something I will say or something the uh, guest will say will strike, we will relate with you, will strike a chord in your heart and your mind and you make a decision to change your life. So before I explain what the business is, let, I want to share with you the four ways that people use to generate income. The first is called a job. A job is when you work for somebody or an employer after 30 days, they pay you a salary. A job is good because at least it gives you the chance to put food on the table, to have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, you have money for medical issues and, and all that. The challenge with a job is that in, in the workplace, there's a lot of internal politics and there are very few jobs I could say that has security. Why? Because one day your employer will come and tell you, sorry, so-and-so, we don't need your services anymore. Two things are happening that are really causing changes in the marketplace. One, on their physical presence. The third way that people used to generate income is big business. These are companies who invest a lot of money. They employ a lot of people. For example, ShopRite Checkers is a chain store from South Africa. The last time I checked, they had 1,000, about 1,900 stores around the African continent, employing about 147,000 people. Not everybody has that kind of money. Companies like Safaricom PLC, Vodacom, MTN, Naivas supermarkets in Kenya. These are companies who invest a lot of money to start and provide start a business and provide a product or a service to the public. The fourth way that people use to generate income is investment. This is when you get money which is over and above what you need for your daily living. And uh, you need money which is over and above what you need, but you need two things to be able to get more income from your investment. Two, sorry, one is the knowledge of investing. Number two is a skill. So what most people do, they get somebody who is experienced, they pay a fee to get their, their return on their income. Is there another way to make money? Of course there is. These are professional people, let me say professional athletes, uh, sports people, writers, musicians. These are very, very highly specialized skills or, or ways of making money that the ordinary 0.01% of people only can actually generate good income from these ways. So the question is, is there an ideal business? Is there a business or a way of generating money that the ordinary person like myself or the, some of the, my colleagues who are attending this meeting can actually start and grow and ful uh, fulfill their dreams through that business opportunity. I think the business, the ideal business needs to have following seven elements. Number one, very low capital to start. Our business, you, you need between 60 and 100 US dollars to start a global business. And that makes it possible that any person who is serious about changing their future to start this kind of business. The second element is you need to get involved in distribution of goods and services. 
Why? Because this is what people need. I read a book uh, quite a, a while ago called um, um, Wealth, what is a, called God Wants You to Be Rich by Paul Zen Pilzer. He's a former advisor to two US presidents. And in that book, he says, in the 1960s, if you take any product, 50% of the product, the cost of the product would be manufacturing cost, and 50% would be distribution costs to get the product to the uh, end consumer. In the year 2000 and beyond, if you take any standard product, 80% of the cost of the product would be distribution costs, and 20% would be manufacturing costs. Why? Because of technology. People have, uh, manufacturers have found very efficient ways to manufacture goods and services, but the cost of distribution is what really puts a big markup on the product. What does that tell you? That tells you that there is a very great opportunity for creating wealth in distribution. The third element is you need to have a global reach. That means you need your product or your service to, to be provided to very many people around the world. Our company does business in 50 countries around the world. In Africa, we do business in 14 countries. Worldwide, we have a population uh, of almost 1.9 billion people we can reach with our products. In Africa, it's about 450 million people. The fourth element is leverage. Leverage is a secret of success in business. What is leverage? Leverage is when you find an efficient way to multiply your time and your effort of doing business. The banks know this, that's why they open different branches. Retail stores know this, that's why they open different stores in different locations. Think about this, leverage is something like this. If I work five hours a week, I'm only paid on those five hours a week. If I get 10 people to help me with the work that I do, I'm now paid on 55 hours a week. 10 times five, times five is 50 plus my own five. I'm now being paid on 55 hours a week. If you want to increase it more, I teach those 10 to introduce 10 other people, which is 100. You'll have 155 people doing uh, providing a product or a service. That is what leverage is. It's a very efficient way to increase the amount of money that you earn. The fifth element is consumable, high quality products. Why consumable? Because consumable products have a repeat sale. You see uh, a, a, a shirt, a, a jacket, a pair of shoes, a car are not consumable products. You buy one, if it's dirty, you wash it and you wear it again. But, uh, but soap, not very romantic, soap is a very good business. Why? Because people buy, use, finish, they buy some more. So is skincare products. For it, so is healthcare, uh, health supplement, so is uh, skin and beauty products or cleaning products. The sixth element is you need a business system in order for your business to grow in your absence. A system is simply a series of tools, procedures, and equipment that you implement in your business so that you don't have to be there when your business is growing. And the last is timing. Timing is a very important element in business. If you start the business at the wrong time, either it doesn't gain traction or it starts too late and the market has already been captured. So what is this business that I'm talking about? It's a business called network marketing. It's a very efficient system of distribution of goods and services. What are the key elements of this system? Number one, we cut out the middleman between the manufacturer and the consumer. In traditional business, if you find any product that goes from a manufacturer to a consumer, it passes through different uh, middlemen, advertising, retailers, wholesalers, uh, regional distributors, people who keep adding to the cost of the product without adding any value to the product. So what we do in our business, we take the product from a manufacturer near life and we send it to different consumers. The money that is available to pay middlemen is what we pay to distributors like ourselves. So there's no advertising. Some product you'll find that almost 35 to 50 percent of the budget of the product is advertising costs. Could be more, could be less. No wholesalers or retailers. Products are explained to customers in person. We are paid for successfully referring customers to buy the product. The company has a way 
to measure the number of customers you've referred to and have bought products. So products are researched and developed on your behalf. That means the design, getting raw material, manufacturing, quality control, packaging, registration of the product in different markets, building infrastructure in 50 countries, that has already been done for you. The only duty is to move those products from new life of the company to different consumers. So a lot of work has already been done on your behalf. There are no qualifications required except three things. One, desire for success. Number two, teachability. And number three, hard work. If you have got these three things going for you, you're going to be very successful. New Life was started by Jerry Brassfield. When Jerry Brassfield was a teenager, he had very, very serious asthma and his mother gave him natural remedies to help his health and improve. And when he saw a, a big difference in his health, a thought occurred to him, maybe I need to share this idea with the people in a small town called Potterville in California. That's when the dream of New Life started. 66 years later, Neolife operates in, six, in over 50 countries around the world. What has kept Neolife going for all these years? Because we believe in five corporate principles to make the foundation of our business very solid. The first is absolute honesty and integrity. That simply means we tell the truth about our products, about what the business can do. We treat our people with integrity and with fairness. Integrity simply means you do the right thing when nobody's watching. The second element is people are number one. The most important resource we have in our business is people. If we don't have people, we don't have anything. The third is products that work. Neolife has put together a group of scientists whose job is just to de develop very high quality products. And that makes, it, that makes our products really, really unique. I have met people who have been using these products for 20, 30, 40 years, and they always uh, they will always vote safe on the quality and the safety of the products. The fourth element is equal opportunity for everybody. Everybody starts this business at the same level, man or woman, old or young, uh, 18 or 81, a plumber, a doctor, an engineer, a housewife, a maker, anybody who is serious about the business will become successful. And then you have a long range vision. You need to have a long range. Initially, you need to have a two to five year plan because we believe that if you follow the guidance of your leader in this business, between two to five years, you'll be financially independent. It means if your current source of income stops, you're able to feed your family through the business. New Life started in 1958 in the USA came to South Africa in 1971. 96, 97 went to East Africa. That's Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. 99, 2000, and beyond went to West Africa. If you're a guest, this business has come to you today. Now, why do people start the business? People start the business for so many different reasons. Some start the business because they want a better life for their children. Some start the business because they want to build good homes. Some start the business because they want to buy good cars. Some are sick and tired of their jobs. Some want to uh, uh, support their, their parents or support their families. Some want to go for holiday. I think most people start the business because they want to make a bit of extra money. That extra money can become a lot of money. Some start the business because they want to be physically fit or healthy. So you're going to partner with the company which has got more than 60 years of experience operating in over 50 countries around the world and is supported by the Scientific Advisory Board, a group of scientists whose job is just to develop high quality products. Some of these scientists publish their scientific research on very prestigious magazines like the Council for uh, Responsible Nutrition, the CDC, United States Department of Agriculture, they are part of the Global Science Network. This is a network of top scientists around the world who do research on nutrition. We've got four ranges of products. Which are these products? The first is a golden home care range. This is a cleaning range of products. We've got products for cleaning the bathroom, the kitchen, the toilet, 
Anything in your home that requires cleaning, we've got the products for you. The second one is the personal care range of products. These are things like hair shampoos, hair conditioners, hand and body lotion. The third is the skincare range of products, things to, to cleanse and detoxify your skin, nourish your skin, balance moisture on your skin and invigorate, protect your skin from the elements. And the last range is a health supplement. This is the highest selling range of our business. Why? Because your greatest wealth in life is your health. When your health is finished, your mission in life is finished. How does this business work? This business works when you do three things every day. They're called three daily success habits. Number one, we use the products ourselves. And the reason we use the products is very simple. Whether you're in this business or not, you're going to buy soap at the end of this month. Whether you join the business or not, you're going to buy something for your skin. You're going to buy something to use a supplement. Maybe not everybody uses a supplement, but everybody uses soap. So you use the products, one, to support your own business. And number two, the people you're going to recommend the product to want to know that you also believe in what you're recommending. So because New Life operates in over uh, 50 countries around the world, New Life has standardized the measurement of the business using the PV system. 100 PV is roughly $160, $170 of, of in value. The second thing we do in our business is share the business opportunity. That simply means we promote, we introduce other people to promote the products the way we do. In this example, you've introduced six people who do 100 PV plus your own is 700 PV. Your income becomes about $45 a month as a manager in the business. The next thing we do is we teach the people we brought into the business to duplicate or to do what we do. The person on the top right corner introduces two. Those two introduce two others. They built a 700 PV unit. The others plus the others. And your income is between 580 and 700 US dollars a month. A profit of roughly 20%. The third thing we do in our business is personal development every day. That simply means you take time to learn something about the business, about the product, about how to build your network, how to become a leader through a support system that you're going to be taught by your, your leader training, support, personal development material, books, seminars, things that help you to grow as a person or a business person. If you want to earn more money from the business, help other people become directors. If you help one more person become a director, your income is about $1,000 a month. If you help three people become directors, your income goes to about $2,000 a month. If you help six people, become directors, that is a president team member, your income is about $5,000 a month. So at this stage, I want to invite one of our president's team members, a very dear person to our business, um, 